Now, when you come across situations where a the person has been incredibly successful in doing exactly that which you want to do, then it's a slam dunk. It's easy to say this person has demonstrated uh, these traits, these uh, achievements, and therefore this person is likely to be a good fit. But as you would probably say, uh, agree with me, is that most often that's not the case. Most often you're looking at a person, you say the person has the capability, the person is motivated, but we don't see the level of readiness in the sense that something or the other is missing, some element of the fit is missing. So in those situations, what's your judgment call? How do you estimate that this person is capable and will be able to deliver even though this person is not quite ready for this particular position? That's a very good question um, because every client has like 15 squares that they want this person to fit into. You have 15 competencies or 12 cup. They want to, they want to check them off as an A player in all. So two parts to that is one, we have to say to our client, prioritize those squares. What is most important? And if the person just is not in a state of readiness on any one of those, and that's a critical factor, then maybe you, you can't afford to put them in. However, if that state of readiness for that factor is shored up by his or her boss, or a subordinate, or a peer, then you have the state of readiness, you have a time frame in which they can get ready by working more closely with their boss on that competency. Or there's somebody underneath them who's technically so strong in that area, that's okay. Maybe it's something to do with the international piece. Or there's a peer that has that. So the state of readiness, is, is it critical to have it now because there's nobody around that has that? Then that may not be the right candidate for that priority. And if the learning curve of the person is going to be steep, but you're you're okay with that because you know that they've done that before. They've come up the learning curve very quickly on it being in new situations, and that's good. And we always ask, ask our clients, the people reporting to this individual, how strong are they? If you have a lot of weak links there, then this hire has got to be strong in almost all 15 categories. And then who are the people this person works with and who do they work for? So we really kind of look at the entire organization that this, organiz this person's gonna go into to assess the strengths around him or her. And that also dictates what are the priorities.